Hello, my kids. One more time. I'm very happy to see you. And most happy to know that I'm going to see you virtually at one o'clock. Don't forget to uh, get into the Zoom conference at one o'clock. Right now, we are going to see. Today is April 21st, 2020. The value that we are using is solidarity. Remember, we have to be uh, good and help the others that need us, okay? Even your grandma, your grandpa, that have to be closing their houses, uh, have to be protected. Okay, today we are continuing with unit 14. Yesterday we saw this vocabulary. I'm just going to make a little review, okay? We, we look at the bank. That is uh, where you can deposit or withdraw money and you keep it safe, keep it safe. Then you have the currency. That's the different kind of money that you can use. These are pesos, these are um, dollars and euros from uh, different countries. Then we have coins. Here is uh, 10 pesos, here is 25 American cents. Then copy is when I told you to copy something from uh, from the blackboard to your books. Then spend, something that we love, to be spending money. Okay, the different ways of paying. Remember, we can pay with bills, credit cards, check, and transferences. The difference between borrow and lend. Okay, do you remember? When you borrow, you take something. When you lend something, you give it to another person. Here it says someone borrows something from someone and you lend something to someone. Then we have barter that is changing uh, things. It doesn't have to be money. You can change a chicken for apples. Okay. Or when you pay something and there is money missing, you can pay the difference later. Then we have, I put this as exchange, it's the same as barter, but it is, if you don't like it, if the, um, uh, for example, if the chicken was sick, you can come and say, no, give me my apples because I don't like it, or because you just think it's not the thing that you are, that you wanted. Then here we have bills. We have many different bills in Mexico City of different colors. Okay, now we are going to go to the workbook. Please open your workbooks on page 130. Workbook page 130. Okay. Let's check this. Okay, you have to match the picture, uh, word, groups, and sentences. And you have to write the words here. Remember that when you match, you have also to write the letter next to the number, okay? Here we can see first we have two options. So we know it's, it has to be this, this, or this. Then we read it. Can I please some money? I hope you can. It to me. So I know I need some money. So I'm asking you to borrow it. So you can uh, lend it to me, okay? Number two, I have to go to the, we know that it is a place. So we look here, 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 and we know it is a bank. I have to go to the bank to get some money. I owe you the money for the supplies you brought for work. I have a copy of the list that we can check what we have. Okay, number three, letter C. Answer it and remember to draw the lines using two colors and writing here the letters. Number three, two kinds of are an. So I know we're talking about money and it, it has one, two, three. So I go to number one and I know it's two kinds of currency. 
One is coins and the other are bills, okay? Here. Then, letter D. I can too much money today. I still have to for dinner. So I know that I can't spend too much money today. Okay, I still have to pay for dinner. Then, of course, it's the last one. So, the last one is number three. To exchange means to barter goods without money. Then here we have a, a drawing. Okay, you can see both of them are laughing. So, he's telling him, Aha, we wa I want to go on vacations. Yes, how much are we, you going to spend on it? Well, I'm uh, going by bus and I'm staying in my aunt's house in Acapulco. So I'm not going to spend a lot. So they are very happy. And here we have two ladies. This lady is giving her the money for a beautiful house. So she is paying her the money for getting a new house. Here in exercise, letter D, you have to circle the correct answer. Here you have four options. We have Bob, money to his friend, Jake. Jake, the money. Jake, the money to Bob. So at the beginning, I know that is not spend, not spend. I think it's lace or paste. So at the beginning, I use the letter C. Bob lends money to his friend Jake. Jake borrows the money. That is that he lends, that he gives the money, and he takes the money. And Jake owes the money to Bob. So later he is going to pay for the money. She's going to give it back. Then we have the number two. And here are the four options. Okay. When you, you do not money. You or trade two things. So I know that um, it is not um, exchanging. I think it's going to be barter. Because it says when you barter, you do not spend money, you exchange a trade or trade to things. Here in number three, we have is what we use for things. There were many forms of it before. Now it's mostly this and this. So at the beginning, pay is what we use. I don't think so. Spend is what we use. I don't think so. Currency is what we use. Yes, I think. But it says currency is what we use to pay. It could be any of these two for things. There were many forms of it before. Now it's mostly, well, it is not barter now. So, it, it is coins and bills. So, I will fill in the blanks with the letter D. You circle the letter and you write the words here. Then, we have three conversations, okay? With the verbs, you have to fill in the blanks, complete the conversations using lend, exchange, borrow, bank, pay, coins, owe, and bills. Okay, so here I have Anna. And Anna is asking for some money. When you are asking, you say, can you please lend me, that is, give me 10 pesos? Okay, you can take it. It will be, you can borrow 10 pesos from me. Here you are. Thanks. I owe you. Ten dollars. One strategy is when you are writing the words, you can be crossing the words so that you don't repeat them. Here we have another. We have the cashier 
a mother and a boy. Okay, the cashier says, it's ten dollars. Do you want to pay with cash? Yes. Uh, yes, cash, please. Cash is um, change, money. I have eight one dollar bills. I have two dollars in coins. Okay, and we have the number three. I'm going to the, this is the place, the bank. I have five large bills. I'm going to exchange them for smaller bills. Okay, now let's go to student's book, page 141. Okay, ready? Here in student's book, you are going to look at these words, crops, shells, valuable, silver, print, and portraits. You have to make list 14.2, and as always, you are going to copy the word, okay? Look up the description in the last pages of the, of the book. Of course, that's in English. Then you look up the Spanish meaning in a dictionary, and you make a sentence and illustrate it, okay? Well, my beautiful kids, that's all for today. I see you at 1.30 in the Zoom, um, in the Zoom class. Right now, I just want to tell you, namaste. Bye.